So the inspiration for my backsplash was a photo I found on the website. It had an interesting shape in it and uh, so I'm going to use this as the, uh, the guideline. What I ended up doing was something a little bit more symmetrical with a uh, set of glass tile and then I used a stainless uh, inset around that glass tile. Let's look at how to do that. The easiest way to create this backsplash is in an elevation view. I'm going to open up our existing elevation by double clicking on that and going into the elevation view and using a tool called custom backsplash. And I'm just going to come in here roughly and create a square backsplash and I'm going to then pull that over to the edge. The reason that I didn't snap it to in the beginning is it will create extra breaks where it touches the cabinets and I don't want those extra breaks in this line right now. Breaks are created using the break tool. You can find the break tool down here in your menu in the lower section of your screen. It's also got a shortcut key of the number three on the keyboard. So the first break I'm going to put in here is roughly down here towards the bottom. And now I have the particular shape with a straight line that I now want to edit. Using the number three on the keyboard for the shortcut of break, I'm just going to come in here and place a few random breaks. Each one of these line segments now can be curved. There's a curve tool down here, change line to arc. And once I do that, I can highlight this diamond, I can pull it down, and I usually hold the control key down. That allows me to override the snapping and create the exact shape that I'm after. Let's go ahead and curve this one. And finally, we'll curve this one. Now each one of these curves you can edit and get the details about that by opening up and going to the selected arc panel. You'll notice that you get a radius. Let's go ahead and square that up at 28 inches. And you can also get other information and you can overlay that on your design to give it to your fabricator. An example of that, let me uh, just pull up a uh, different view here. An example of that is in this steam shower. I actually used a tool very similar to the custom backsplash. It's a polyline solid to create this shape of the shower. You'll notice that what I've done here is I've done callouts for each of the radius and cords and put it in a corresponding table. So if you want to get to that level of detail, you can open up each line segment and get the data that you're after. Now the next section of the backsplash, let's come in here and uh, create that shape that we're after. We'll pull that over to the edge of the cabinet and then down approximately. And it looks like I need to go up just a little bit further. Now again, I'm going to press the number three on the keyboard here. And before I do that, let's go ahead and pull that up. Now I've got the uh, shape that I'm after using the number three on the keyboard now press the number three and create a few breaks. Highlight this line segment, convert it to an arc, same thing in this case, and finally the last one. And now what I can do is hold my control key down and create the exact shape that I'm after. So now you can see all I have to do is the final backsplash and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw it just in this area. Now the reason I didn't overlap it to begin with is it will actually place it on top of that and I want it to be behind it. I could adjust that later by going into the plan view and pulling it over but this will work just as well. So let's just pull this over and that looks pretty good. Again I'm not being too exact with this for this uh, presentation. Let's press the break key and we'll pull this section down right in this area and it looks like I need to pull that over just a little bit. And if I double click on that, I'm going to change the thickness of this layer from three quarters to three eighths. This is going to be a stainless steel insert. The tile will be three quarters and now I've got that insert right here. Using the material eyedropper I'm going to select the stainless off the hood and apply it onto the insert behind the two tiles. 
Now the final step is to open up the library, find our glass tile. Let's scroll down into the bonus category, find our glass tile category. And I'm looking for something like, um, let's try this yellow mix. I'm going to apply it to this tile and uh, this lower tile. Close the library browser up and that's how we create our custom backsplash.